in previous lecture we have seen about the cram staining method which is most useful for staining the bacteria but do you know some of the bacteria they do not get stained by the method that is the simple staining or by the gram staining then how can we study them what are they called and how to stain them so today we are going to study the special staining technique that is the acyl fast staining which is used for such type of the bacteria it is also called as the zeal nilsen stain so what do you mean by the acid fast bacteria so these are the bacteria which cannot be stained by simple or the gram staining method easily particularly the member of the genus mycobacteria but once they stain by the special stain they resist the recolorization by mineral acid like sulfuric acid that is esters of four and these are called as the acid fast bacteria as they are the bacilli we generally also refer to acid fast bacilli as they are generally the bacilli so in this case the this method was originally introduced by the ehrlich and it is the differential staining technique as it differentiate the bacteria as the acid fast and the non acid fast although it was introduced by the ehrlich then it was modified by the zeal and later on modified by the nilsson hence this technique is called as the zeal nilsson staining technique it is the most widely used method for staining the acid fast bacilli so it is used to stain this acid fast bacilli particularly the mycobacteria species and most important species from the mycobacteria is m tuberculosis and the modification of these methods are also useful for staining the mycobacterium leprae nocardia species and bacterial endospore which are also acid fast in nature they can be studied by modifying this method and they can be studied so today we will see the particularly the method which is useful for the staining of the acid fast bacilli that is the mycobacterium tuberculosis let us see about the, what are the different steps involved in the staining technique first you need the prepare the smear from any clinical specimen particularly the mycobacterium tuberculosis causing the pulmonary tuberculosis so we prefer the clinical specimen sputum we have to prepare the smear from the thick purulent portion of the sputum on a clean grease free scratch free slide aseptically then we have to allow to dry the smear in air and we want to fix them by passing through the flame that is the heat fixing is necessary then we have to start the staining technique the first step is you have to cover the whole slide with the carbofuction stain as in earlier we have mentioned only to cover the smear but here it is necessary to add the carbofuction on the whole slide as we need the heating of the stain so it should not get dry off that's why the whole slide is covered with the carbofuction then next step is you have to apply the heat to the underside of the slide by means of the spirit lamp particularly it is most easy to handle that's why instead of the gas burner we we can use the spirit lamp to apply the heat from the underside of the slide you have to heat until the vapor just begins to rise you should not overheat it the stain should not boil just the vapor rise you stop the heating and then you have to allow to act this carbofuction for 5 minutes and if you require you should have the intermittent heating to keep the stain hot one because it will facilitate the easy penetration to the cell wall of the bacteria the next step is you have to wash thoroughly the slide with the tap water and you have to go for the next step that is the decolorization and it is carried out by using the 20% sulfuric acid although there are mentioned various modification in the decolorization but the most routinely we are using the 20% of the sulfuric acid for the decolorization purpose then but how much time you should allow to act them so initially you have to allow to act the acid for 1 to 3 minutes and wash with the water and then you observe the color of the smear if the smear become pale pink 
or it become colorless that indicate that the color uh, decolorization is the complete but if it is still dark then you have to repeat the procedure you have to repeat the procedure of the decolorization by acid for one minute but if it is still dark one then you have to again repeat for the one minute that can be carried out up to maximum eight minutes but generally the it will complete within the two to three minutes that is sufficient and that depends on the thickness of the smear of the uh, sputum also that depend the time the next step is most important that is the counter staining you have to counter stain the smear with the two percent methylene blue and allow to act for one to two minutes and then wash with the tap water and allow to air dry and your slide is ready to observe under the oil immersion lens so you have to observe this smear very carefully under the oil immersion lens of the microscope you have to go specific manner uh, for observation of the presence of the acid fast bacilli here you can see in the result you can see the acid pass bacteria if present they will appear the red or the pink in color while the non acid fast structures that will stain the blue in color particularly the background will be the blue that is of the pus cells and epithelial cells and if any non acid fast bacteria present they will appear the blue in color that result we will able to see but in this case of the zn staining method we are detecting the presence of acid fast bacteria in the sputum smear you have to grade it you have to diagnose the patient and for that purpose you have to evaluate the zn smear for the afb report and that grading is as per the guidelines of the rntcp that is a revised national tuberculosis control program when you observe the smear under the oil immersion lens if you report more than 10 bacilli per oil immersion field that is graded as the 3 plus so where you have to observe at least the 20 microscopic field similarly if the 1 to 10 bacilli are seen per field then it is reported as the 2 plus when you observe at least the 50 microscopic field if the bacteria are seen as a 10 to 99 per 100 oil immersion field then it is reported as the 1 plus here you have to observe at least 100 microscopic field secondly if it is 1 to 9 bacilli only per 100 oil immersion field then it is reported as the scanty or maybe the doubtful and if you are not able to see any bacteria in 100 oil immersion field then it is reported as a negative or as a nil one this is the reporting you have to do according to the revised national tuberculosis control program which is useful for the diagnosis as well as it is also useful to know the response of the patient to the treatment if you are the smear is earlier having the three plus and if now it is showing the one plus that means your patient is responding better to the treatment so in this way this zn smear examination is useful for the diagnostic purpose as well as for the response to the treatment. Thank you.